Now that we've sorted by the country, then maybe the next logical thing is I want to have a count for each different country. Well, a count will be what we call a, a summary field here. And in order to have a summary field, we have to add a group first. So in this case, I'll pick on the report menu. And then this time we'll pick on the group expert. So always remember, if you want to have a subtotal or a summary, we have to add a group first. So I'll go into the group expert. And now you can have as many groups as you want. So I'll double click on country here. By the way, when we group the field, it'll also sort it. So I actually didn't have to sort the report by the country because when you group it, it'll sort it by that field uh, anyway. We'll do a little bit more with the group in a couple minutes. So I'll click OK. Now, something special happened when we add the group. Let's actually go back to design view for a second. When we added the group, it added a new section here in the report that's called the group header. The group header will print at the top of each group. And then we have a group footer and that'll print at the bottom of each group. OK, so then it automatically put the uh, country name into the group header. So when I run the report with preview mode, you can see each country now has the header for their group and actually made the report easier to read. And that happened all the way down, even for the next page. So now I think the country on the actual listing here is, is redundant. So I'm going to click on the actual country and then I'll hit my delete key. Now I can move the city over to, uh, to the left on the, on the detail row. Good. All right. So when we added the group, it gave us the group header and the group footer for each different country. And it put the country name into the group header. So now let's do some uh, formatting of the group. Here we are on page one. Page one starts with Argentina and the different countries are on there. Notice how Germany starts on page one. Let's see what happens on page two. Let me go back to the top and I'll go to page two using the navigator toolbar over here. It looks like Germany continues on page two. Well, I would like to have that header for the country appear on page two again. Let's see what happened uh, here. So on page two, it starts with USA. If I go to page three, it continues with the USA. So again, I would like the header of that group to continue on to the, to the next page if it does overlap. Let's see what we're going to do about that. We're actually going to go back to the group expert. So I'll pick on the report menu again, and I'll pick in the group expert. And we're back to here. Now, I could have more than one group there. So I'll pick in the country group, and then I'll pick in the word options. And then we have this window. Here you can actually change the, uh, the sort order of that group. But I'll pick in the word options here. OK, good. And then we have other options specific to the group. So I'm going to come over here, and I'll say repeat group header on each page. So that really does mean if we if the group overlapped onto the next page, then it'll uh, repeat the header. Here's an interesting one. It says keep group together. That means it won't start the group on one page if it knows it's going to overlap onto the next page. It'll just start it on the next page in the first place. So that's one you can always try. But this time I'm going to say repeat group header on each page. I'll click OK. So we went to the group expert. I picked in that group and I picked on options. Here you have a couple options. Then I picked in the word options again to find those choices. And we say repeat group header on each page. So I'll click OK and click OK again. Let's see what happened. See, now on the third page, we see the USA header is there. I'm going to go back to page two. Page two has the Germany header. Even though Germany started on the first page, it continues on the next page. So it says Germany there. And that's exactly what we were hoping for. So 
when you um, added a group, made the report look better, and that'll set up our next lesson where we're going to add a count for each different country. Now that we've added the group, now we're going to add a count for each country, and that's going to be called a summary. So I'll pick on the insert menu and I'll pick on summary, insert summary. And then we have this window. So you have the field that you want to summarize. So we can summarize the customer ID because we're just doing a count. Later on, we'll do another summary when we have an actual number field. And then we'll see other calculations that will be available. But I'll choose the customer ID and then I have different calculations. Minimum, maximum, count, the stint count. So count is the number of records and the distinct count is the number of different values. So they might, they might give you different results. And we can even do things like the nth largest and the nth smallest and so on, the most frequent. So I'll pick in the word count. Now, it'll put it in the grand total. It's going to put that in the report footer. So things that the grand total and the grand count will always show up on the report footer. Then I'm going to say add to all group levels. And that'll give us a count for each group as well. Now, if you didn't add the group before you did the summary, you can add the group over here. But usually I like to add the group first, like we did in the previous lesson, and then add the summary. I'm going to click OK. So notice how if we look at Ireland, there's one record, Italy has three, and Mexico has five, and so on. So now I'd like to dress up that count a little bit. So this one might be better done in design view. So I'll go back to design view. So I'm going to pick up that count from the group footer and move it over a little bit. Then we can have some space for something else. Notice how those lines come up and maybe I can line it up with the city right there. And that's fine. All right. So I wanted to say count for and the country name right there. So we're going to add another one of those text boxes. I'll say insert text object. I'll move right into the group footer right over here. And you're going to get better at this with practice. So I'll say count for and then I want the company, I want the country name to be right there. So watch what I'll do. I'm going to come over here to the field explorer, go back up so you can see the field names from that table. I'll pick up the country and look, I'm just going to drag it right into the text object just like that. And now I just combine those two. Uh, I just combined those. So let me uh, make that a little bit bigger. Okay, good. Yeah, see, when I get the, the cursor like that, now I know they've been combined into one big field. I'm going to click on that field and make it bigger with the sizing handle. There you go. Good. So let's see what that really looks like when we run it. I'll go back to preview mode. Now it says count for Germany, 11. Count for Ireland, 1. Notice how they put that in the group footer section. The group footer section uh, will print on the bottom of each group. That's a good place to, pay to put that count. All right, so now we're getting some good results. Count for Spain, count for Sweden, and so on. Very good. Now, to make this report maybe a little bit easier to read, I like to have a clear separator between each country. So I'm going to go back to design view again for this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the group footer a little bit bigger. Oh, by the way, put a grand total in there as well. So let's um, let's fix up the grand total first. You can, I, can, I can tell this is going to be a grand total because it's on the report footer section. So I'll move that over so it's lined up with the other count. Good. I'd like to have another text box. So I'll pick on insert text object. I'm going to move it here. And I'll say uh, total count. And now I'm just going to line it up with the other object here and make that a little bit bigger. And now I'll line it up with the, uh, the count over here. Okay, good. 
Now, as far as that group footer, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this line below the group footer section and your mouse becomes that plus sign. I'm going to drag it down just a little tiny bit. Now, I'd like to have a line between each group. And that's why I made some space there. In this case, I'll pick on the insert menu and I'll pick on the, the one that is called line. And your mouse becomes a pencil. So I'm going to move my mouse inside the group footer section on that blank space. Hold down the left mouse button and just drag it over. Very good. Excellent. Let's see what the uh, report really looks like now. So we'll go back to preview mode. If I go back to the first page, okay, we see those lines between each country. I think it makes it much easier to read. And I'm just going to click away from that so it's not selected. That's good. Let's go to our next page. Now here, France starts on this page. If I go to the next page, then um, Germany is there and we have the count and so on. Good. Sweden starts on this page. Let me go to the next page. And then Sweden continues on the uh, next page, as you can see. And then we have the different countries and we have the total count. Now, I'd like to make, um, let me go back to design view for a second. So I'm going to make the section smaller here. So I'll move that line up a little tiny bit. That'll be good. Then I'll move that line up for the uh, section up a little bit. And that should fix out some of those that came between the different pages. So I'll pick on preview again. Yeah, see how USA is there on the third page. USA started on this page and it continues on the next page and so on. All right, so that's making the report look a little bit better. Good. So to add a subtotal or a sub count, first we added the group using the group expert. And then to add the count, we added the uh, summary over here in the summary menu.